Hello, I'm Dale P. Dronk. This morning I had my TX200 um, Mark III out to the range. I'd been shooting it indoors at 50 feet and decided that um, it was a good day to move back outdoors and shoot at 50 yards. So I shot a couple of targets to get it centered and then shot the following four um, just to practice. I haven't had a chance to get out to the range for uh, a week or so and it's been um, it's just been busy at work and so it hasn't kind of contributed to my ability to get out and practice much. You should be able to see the four targets in the upper corner right now. Um, what you'll see in those targets is that the orange is about a half an inch and the gray circle is about an inch and so there's quarters placed there and a dime on one to give you a perspective of what that looks like. In the center is just a little black dot to get to make sure that it, I'm able to kind of maintain where I hold my uh, reticle when I'm shooting at 50 yards. The difference between these four targets is really simply my hold on the rifle um, and trigger pull. The, the issue is not with the pellets. The issue is not with the rifle. The issue was not with the weather. This was all shooter error, in, if you will, um, in terms of that process. Anything that you see outside of the one inch circle in particular, but really not touching that orange circle suggests um, that I wasn't focused very well as a shooter in this particular case. And so I started in the upper left. Um, and so you see four that are grouped pretty tightly within that one inch kind of margin right on the edge of touching on the half inch circle in most cases. And then the one outlier and that is mostly just inconsistent way of squeezing the trigger. And then I move to the one to the right, and you see that the four are easily within that and one outside. Then the lower left, I just kind of fell apart. My concentration wasn't there. Uh, and so that's what you see is that inconsistency. Now, when you look at the video, um, you're not going to see a lot of differences in terms of what was going on in terms of how I held the, the gun or pulled the trigger, etc. But that's really what it was. I knew as soon as I pulled the trigger that it was me. Uh, and then the last one, I forced myself to kind of come back to center, kind of get focused, get relaxed, and pull myself together. And what you see are five shots within that 0 0.46 inch range. Now, in this particular case, the pellets I was using were air arms Diablo Field Heavies in 10.3. These are weight sorted, so these are actually 10.3. And they're also head size sorted. Um, the pellets themselves are supposed to be 4.52, but this particular batch of those 4.52s head sorted at 4.50. And this is from batch 2.1.3 of 2021. Uh, again, 4.52, uh, 57-S4. Uh, were the numbers that are in the lot for that particular tin of pellets. And so that's what you see here. In this particular case, they weren't lubed. They were head sorted and they were weight sorted. Um, I find that if I lube, I don't need to head sort. And if I head sort, I don't necessarily need to lube. Uh, the two tend to be redundant with one another. But in any case, what it did for me is reinforce the necessity of kind of being focused, being able to be there with the follow through with the consistent trigger pull with that that whole part of the process and i think springer uh, air rifles are susceptible to that more than perhaps others but all of the rifles that i shoot uh, have that same struggle and so once again may all your shooting be tens and x's and if there's any questions please feel free to let me know
Yeah, bro.